you go. I have been so busy, like, every weekend of my life. I had to drop April off at work today so that I could pick him up so I could make it on time to the airport. And so I have to go put our bags in. Luckily, we're just doing carry-ons. Packed a lot of crap in here. We're going to be there this weekend doing lots of wedding stuff and lots of announcements that we have. So let's get to it. Good morning. We made it to Missouri. Went to sleep, woke up, just got some work done, in, uh, working in bed. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take a shower and maybe go on a little run. Not in that order though. I would go on the run right now and then shower. <laughs> But today we are gonna go look at a potential house to buy. Um, I kind of have a lot to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you later when I don't look like this. Good morning, fiance. <laughs> Is that for your liking? That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. I was just doing nothing and hanging out with my fiance for too long, so now I don't have time to work out. I just need to shower and get ready. <laughs> I'm almost ready. Um, I got this eyeliner and I hate it because it's so thin. I like the thicker felt pens, but I didn't realize it was gonna be super thin. And it also like dries instantly, which is a little annoying. I actually decided to just be more comfortable and changed into this t-shirt. So now it is time to chat about what's going on. I have some major updates, some news, and I kind of want to just catch up with you guys because it's been a minute. All the vlogs I've been posting recently were from my Missouri trip back in May. I'm in Missouri again, and it's today is July 4th day I'm filming this, and there's just been so much happening that I haven't had time to edit, but I do have like a ton of backlog of vlogs I gotta get done. For one, I dyed my hair brown, and I think this video is gonna get posted before that video does, so that's kind of awkward, but I'm trying my best right now. Got me some Seven Brew, which is like Dutch Bros here in Missouri. Anyway, let's catch up. I'm here at my parents' house staying this week because of a situation which all leads into I don't even know where to start okay um here we go drum roll for the news I am moving to Missouri <laughs> crazy I didn't think this was gonna happen I mean I made a video like what two years ago whatever saying officially moving to Texas full-time forever whatever and like I totally love Texas I love where I live in Texas I would stay there forever but just thinking long term, Abram's family all just moved to Alabama, so they're not even in Texas anymore. Both of us got offered our, well, I'm already fully remote, but he got offered his job fully remote if we move. I want to be by family. We're getting married. Obviously, that means we'll have kids in the future, and I want to be by family. I don't know. I brought Abram here during the fall, which is like the prettiest time to be here, and he absolutely loved it. We prayed about it. We just feel like called by God to kind of just move back and be near people. Um, his family's also gonna be closer when we live in Missouri. It'll be eight hours to his family, whereas right now where we live in Texas, it's about 12 or 13 hours to where they live. So that's nice too. So it's a big move. We're a little nervous, a little scared, but also really excited. But there's a lot that goes into it. This video, I'm gonna be showing you guys two houses. Last time we were in Missouri, we went and looked at two houses. One was an auction and one was a friend. Um, they would both need remodeled, but they would both be like a really good deal. So before I explain anything further, I'm just gonna show you guys the two houses. Houses. So we got here, we're walking around. I don't want to have my camera out because it's like they're here, but um, this is the master. This whole house, I mean, it's a big house. It has technically four and a half or five bedrooms, depending if you count one as a bedroom or not, but a lot of space. So the master is interesting. It's an interesting layout, but there's a room downstairs. I'll take you downstairs. I would redo all these floors. This would could be either a room or like an office or a nursery. One day, that was really annoying. <laughs> and then there is a bathroom. Nice light in the bathroom. And then here is another room. This would actually be a really nice area for office, I feel like, or guest room. Yeah, I feel like we'd want offices next to the big windows because having yeah, light is I really would say nice. This probably would be a good guest room, but I'm thinking our head to like. The porch is so cute. And then living room, kitchen, and the yeah. basement. So. If you go over here, this is like the biggest room in the house. It's huge, but it's downstairs, so bad lighting. But it, it has like a closet, Jack and Jill bathroom for the living room. That goes into like a storage area. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Um, anyway, and then there's, ah, I thought it opened behind me. <laughs> closet right here. This is the biggest closet, which sucks that it's downstairs, but. Yeah. What? 
Yeah, it's Jack and Jill. I told you. Whoa! Let me flip the light on. This is like a, this is actually a cute little bathroom. I like it. And then there's a door that leads to outside right here as well, which I'll show you guys. The only well, you guys can kind of here. I'll just go outside. Let's just do it. Let's just go. I don't have any shoes on though. Okay. I'm so confused. And it's really big. I think the whole property is what seven tenths of an acre. He was saying. Yeah. So it's so huge. And then we have one more room, which this is the one that they say doesn't technically count as a room because there's no closet. But it would be a perfect little guest room. Or like a filming room yeah. or a oh, gaming yeah. I, room. I did not realize this was here. This would be a good gaming through. room, actually, because you don't like light when you play games. So this is the backyard with the deck and everything. Oh my gosh. And there's a storage shed. The kitchen has like a little out sitting area, a little bay window. Imagine, babe, you can do grilling. Yeah. We could have a coffee table and like drink oh, our morning yeah. coffee out here. And the trees are so pretty. Like the two trees in the backyard. You could do so much with this. Okay, let's go down. If we really wanted to, we could literally like add on right here. What? Oh yeah. It's interesting. Like there's so much yard, just keeps going. Abram's planning how we can put a pickleball court in the backyard. Maybe He's like, all right, here we go. too close because you like- You don't want to hit the ball over the yeah, fence. You always do that to me. <laughs> just like right here. Or even like right there. So as you can tell, it's definitely a house that he's remodeled. I don't remember what I said before, but um, a lot of potential. Um, it would cost a lot to remodel it, but if we get a good enough deal, then we can, you know, put a lot of work into it and grow in it for a long time. The yard, oh, amazing. Kind of a weird layout, but eh, anyway. We're gonna go look at house number two. So we're trying to find a deal steal, deal still. This one is up for auction. So we're gonna go look at it and then they're gonna go auction on it. And if they can get it low, then it's ours. But um, depends how many people go there, depends how many people are willing to pay more. We're trying to get it pretty low. So we'll see, we're gonna go look at the house. Oh my God. Should I get some views? Okay. This is how my dad goes. My dad's reckless driving. It's aggressive. It's aggressive, but it, but it's safe in a way. A lot of people looking at the house. I my daughter here. It's cute. Direct access. <laughs> like a little bar in between. It's kind of cool. Ooh, nice closet. Where are you going? Heading down the basement. Uh oh, there's another basement. <laughs> Okay, so another drum roll, okay? We put an offer on one of the houses, um, but it's like through a friend, so it wasn't really an offer, it was just like we had talked and agreed on a price, and it's actually one of my friends from high school's grandpa's house, and his grandpa is moving, so we're gonna buy it, got a good deal on it, we're gonna remodel it, and it's gonna be awesome, I'm pretty much gonna live there for... I don't know the rest of my life like it's huge there's no reason to move it's a great neighborhood great schools great side of town close enough to family and there's five bedrooms one of them doesn't have a closet so i think it's considered like an office so tons of space for us to both work from home for me to film for work and all that kind of stuff the yard is amazing we absolutely fell in love with the house like right away and so i'm really excited once we remodel it it's going to be absolutely gorgeous just think you know new wood floors and new paint and all that kind of stuff it's going to be awesome so yeah we're officially moving we actually close on the house on june no sorry july 30th which is like the first monday of the first week of august so august 1st is like the day after we sign or whatever i don't know the exact day whatever it is it's like that monday and so we're gonna be officially moved anyway i'm in missouri 
part two now because I need to go fix my rental house. So you guys know that I owned a house here in Missouri. I bought it when I was 18, lived in it for a while, and then I moved and I had it as a rental. <laughs> okay, the first renters I had in there, amazing. Cute little family, paid rent on time. Um, I took care of them, they took care of me. Like. They, they were awesome. The neighbors all loved them. Apparently they're still friends with some of the neighbors, that kind of situation. So then um, they were buying a house, so they moved and I got some other renters in there. And I was just gonna continue renting it because I didn't know if I wanted to move back in there because that was the original plan moving back to Missouri was to move back into that house. But then we found a deal on another house and got approved for a loan since we both have full-time jobs and all that. But um, I was gonna plan on just keeping my house as a rental. But then I started talking about it and we need money to remodel the house. So if we could sell my house and use that money to remodel, perfect. But I have renters in there, so I was just, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Well, I go to do an inspection, and they were on a month-to-month -month lease, and my dad went in, and it's trash. It is so bad, which is always a risk you take when you're a landlord, when you're renting out your house. It just sucks because it wasn't a rental house. This wasn't really an investment property. It was my house. That's my first home. That was my starter home. I kind of wanted to maybe live there again. Like, it was just, like, really kind of emotional for me to go and see it like all destroyed roaches mice holes in walls it smells like wet dog and cat pee in there like it's so bad um anyway so i'm here this week working on fixing it getting people over there to clean the outside you know build up the curb appeal so we can sell it obviously completely clean the inside repaint everything and then we're gonna try to hopefully sell it this week. I mean, the market's still pretty, you know, fire, so hopefully I could sell it quick um, so I can get the money to remodel my new house that I close on in a month. So there's kind of just like a lot of moving parts right now. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw recently that I was like, oh, I'm so stressed, there's so much going on. That was exactly when I found out they cracked my granite top counters, there was a leak in the sink, a leak, a leak in the sink that they didn't tell me about for who knows how long, because it would be inconvenient, which I could have fixed right away anyway you know it's kind of on me for you know renting out my house that's risk you take but also like why like who does that to a house it was such a cute house brand new remodeled anyway um that's my life right now it's kind of an owl but at the in the end i'm still gonna make money on it it'll still be a dub it's just a lot of work this week emotionally distressing because it's my first house and i'm seeing it like that and it's like ugh, and all that stuff so anyway all that to say i'm gonna be working on my rental house and selling it I'm buying a new house with Abram. We're going to remodel it. So not only do you guys get content of me being back in Missouri and with family and the wedding coming up, but also tons of remodel videos because we're going to hire out like the big things. So like someone's going to paint and someone's going to do the floors, but we're going to do a lot of the other stuff like slowly over time. So there'll be a lot of remodeling videos and I'm really excited about that. So there's all the news that I have. I finally got around to sharing this news. I had filmed this like three or four different times, but it just like, it just wasn't feeling right. And I feel like this, this feels right. So there is a life update on me um after i get back from this trip to texas i have about three weeks till i move we moved half my stuff this time it's in a trailer my dad's gonna come back down and help me move the rest of it again and then we'll be here in missouri and it's crazy i can't believe abram was like yeah sure i'll move to missouri with your family like mm, been there once twice been there twice i'll move love him he's the best honestly so it's just a lot like i got a lot going on in my head i am getting married in the fall i am selling my house cleaning it up selling it i am buying a house i'm moving across the country let's just say i'm relying on god a lot right now every day every moment thank you as i should thanks for watching i'll probably do like a fun actual sit down and update everything on my life soon this was just like the one big thing that i was super excited to share so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye